So today is a very special day. As part of the Angel Flights Network, we're flying from Fort McMurray to Calgary, Alberta, transferring a nine-year-old to go get chemotherapy in Calgary. There, high five! <laughs> we're gonna do barrel roll. Uh -oh. Not really, no. <laughs> no barrel rolls today. I did this so backwards, but we're on wagon. Oh, oh no, that's not where I know where we are. Nope, no problem. Yeah, I don't know why the big people are coming. No, we're. All of our charts and our. Uh, Welcome aboard everyone. This is the second Angel Flights trip that we've done in the Cessna Conquest and what an honor it has been to be able to help out someone at such a young age, 11 years old and battling cancer her entire life. It's an absolute miracle that Angel Flights and all the volunteers have been able to put this trip together and make this trip possible. Uh, now we're already on the runway so we're going to dive right into this flight. We're taking off a runway 26 at Fort McMurray Airport. And it's about minus 35 Celsius outside right now. So 100 knots is going to happen pretty fast. Bringing the landing gear up, making sure everything functions as it should. Pitching the airplane for a 150 knot climb. And ATC has already cleared us direct to Cacho, our first waypoint on the flight plan, headed towards Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And we get an awesome view off the left wing of the Fort Mac area. Absolutely beautiful part of Canada. And we're climbing up to flight level 200, that's 20,000 feet. Pratt & Whitney engines just humming along nicely at 1900 RPM. And that's Lauren there in the aft facing seat. I don't know, I'd make a funny face, but you can't see my face. And Lauren's mom in the most rearward seat of the airplane. And that's my brother Kale there. Usually he's up front flying with me. But right now he's acting as flight attendant, keeping everybody entertained in the back. And we got Rod Orston flying co-pilot right now. He's a very experienced Angel Flight's pilot and good friend. Just send it back there and see where it goes. Oh no! Hopefully that's not foreshadowing. <laughs> it's about minus 48 degrees Celsius at flight level 200. With the sun shining through all the windows, it keeps the airplane fairly warm inside. We don't even have to use the auxiliary heater. Now for our approach into Calgary, Springbank Airport, we're going to be flying the RNAV runway 35 approach. Just loading it into the Garmin 750 GPS. Gives us about 5,000 feet of usable runway, but we'll have to check and make sure that uh, the runway is clear of ice and snow. And because of the temperatures, we have to do cold weather corrections to all of our altitudes that we're going to be flying for the approach. So here we are, about to turn final at the waypoint Seekem. You can see it on the chart there. And that will line us up for runway 35. Visibility is pretty good, but it looks awfully cold down there. There's a few clouds just below us. 
but we should be below those uh, well before we hit our final approach fix. We're clear to land runway 35. You can actually see the runway straight ahead of the nose of the airplane. Here we are on the map. We're approaching anywhere from 120 to 130 knots. We'll plan across the threshold at approximately 102. I'm just covering around in Lottie's. That's the Trans Canada Highway just ahead of us. We're about to fly right over top of it. Our checklists are complete. We've double checked everything with a few flow checks. Like I said, we're aiming for 102 knots across the threshold, and we're just gonna fly the airplane to the runway. We always land with power, because those four blade props create so much drag that if you were to go to idle, you could stall the airplane too high above the runway, and you wouldn't have enough time to get the power back in to recover. So we always land with about 200 to 300 foot-pounds of torque per engine. Home safe and sound. What would normally be a 10 hour drive or more, done in approximately an hour and 40 minutes. Lauren and her mom are gonna head straight to the hospital while we park the airplane. And there's a little bit of ear candy for all of you pilots out there. So, how was the flight? It was good. It was entertaining. Oh, you were busy building goodness. airplanes back here. Was it fun? No one scared you? <laughs> yeah, this is like Boeing versus Airbus happening. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. And they're both going to MCAS. They're both going to MCAS. Oh, yeah, one's got MCAS, so it's probably. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. If you want to show your support, hit that subscribe button down there. Give the video a like and if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below and we will see you on the next adventure. Take care everybody.